These four books I have right here are probably the ones that made me a millionaire or at least got me on the journey from zero air to millionaire. So I'm going to share with you the four books that made me a millionaire. And um, I've actually got a little one here, which is a sort of a bonus uh, fifth. And I'm going to share sort of the main concept of what I learned in each book. All right, where shall we start? Let's start with this classic. Give me a yes in the comments if you've ever read Think and Grow Rich. So Think, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill was probably in the first three non-fiction, personal development, money-making books I ever read. I read this 17, 18 years ago, uh, and I can definitely say it's in the top 10 books I've ever read and in the top four for making money. Now, specifically, uh, oh, by the way, with the books that I'm sharing that made me a millionaire, um, I've intentionally picked them in different fields. So they're not all just money making books. Um, they're all linked to you being able to make money, but they're in different genre. Um, so the, the main concepts I learned in Think and Grow Rich was the concept of a mastermind, both in your mind and in reality. So I remember Napoleon Hill, um, he, he would talk about how if he would have a problem that he would want to solve, you know, a big challenge or, you know, want to make some really big money. Um, and what he would do is he would go to bed at night and he would close his eyes and he would visualize um, a boardroom. And he'd visualize some of the billionaires of the world and the richest people alive around that boardroom. And he would visualize and imagine himself asking these billionaires and titans of wealth, you know, how would they solve his challenge? Um, how would they answer his questions? Uh, and he would say that this visualization um, would end up answering the questions uh, of wealth for himself. Um, and for probably the last 17 years, for most evenings when I go to bed, I'll do something similar. I'll do visualization, money incantations. Um, and if I ever have any really big problems and I can't access the billionaire myself, I will do the boardroom mastermind in my mind exercise. You should try it. It really works. Because actually, I think you have the solutions to all the problems in yourself, um, but actually just don't know how to unleash it. Um, and if you want to solve um, money problems and, and learn to earn more money, you need to have the mindset uh, and the focus of someone who's already made the money. And then the, the next thing I'll share with you before I move on to the next book about Think and Grow Rich is the concept of your network is your net worth. Give me a yes in the comments if you've um, ever heard that saying. Um, you are um, literally the value and the worth of the five people you spend the most time with. So, you know, um, invest in your network, um, because if you if you um, if you are one of five billionaires. If there is five billionaires in your network, you become the sixth. If there are five zero A's in your network, you become the sixth. So that's Think and Grow Rich. Give me a yes in the comments if you've read it. Give me a yes in the comments if you like it. OK, the second one is this one. And that is how to win friends and influence people. Now, all I knew back then was um, how to uh, how to repel friends and piss off people. <laughs> I was not good with people. I would have anger issues. I would always blame other people. I'd be a bit of a victim. And how to win friends and influence people. It, it taught me how to see the world from someone else's perspective, how to put myself in their shoes to really understand where they are at. And that might help me influence them to do something I want them to do. It might help me have more empathy or, or sympathy. Um, and it really helped me. It, it helped me learn how to make people feel very important. And it helped me learn how to encourage them to do something I wanted them to do even if I didn't initially think they wanted to do it. Great book. Again, you know, this one's nearly 100 years old. This one is decades old. So give me a yes in the comments if you've ever read, um, read How to Win Friends and Influence People. And, if, and let me know what you think of the book. By the way, I don't get affiliate commissions on these books. I should. Um, the next one, um, a dear friend and also mentor to myself is Dr. John Demartini. 
Now, The Values Factor is an excellent book. And um, here's why. When it comes to making money and starting a business and becoming a millionaire, there's so many um, distractions. There's so many things that can, you know, you can drag yourself all over the place. You can compare yourself to others and you get very overwhelmed. And what the values factor is great at is helping you understand what is most important to you in your life, help you link that to making money so you can turn your passion into your profession, your vocation into your vacation and, and find the thing that you love to do that you can monetize and therefore re removing all the um, distraction and friction and re increasing the speed of earning money and loving what you do and doing what you love. It really helps you understand who you are. Um, and, you know, if you do want to turn that passion into the profession or if you've been struggling and trying loads of different business models and they don't seem to fit, it's because you haven't linked them to your values, to what's most important to you. Um, so uh, let me know in the comments if you've ever read The Values Factor, if you love The Values Factor. Um, if, you, if you know who John Demartini is, like I said, dear friend and mentor. So I've got two left and this is a quick reference and this is kind of a bit of a, a, a cheat. Well, it's not a cheat, but... This book made me a millionaire in a different way because I wrote it <laughs> uh, and I've made um, seven figures out of selling this book. So being flippant, but not you should actually, I believe, um, one day aspire to turn your content into cash flow, your ideas and your information into income. And actually writing a book um, was one of the best books that I ever um, read or researched. Now, look, my book money. Give me a yes in the comments if you've ever read or listened to my book money. My book, Money, um, is a ten, been a 10-year research project on millionaires and billionaires and the titans of wealth and how to make, manage and multiply money and know more, make more and give more. Um, and what I learned in the research of, of money um, is that uh, money doesn't judge. Money doesn't have any kind of consciousness. It's just a universal exchange of value. It's just a tool. You know, I talk a lot about people's money beliefs as they're raised from children and some of the trauma and the beliefs passed on through school and society and parents which keep you poor and then I showed the completely 180 opposing belief which by the way all beliefs are just imagination and, and how you can basically um, turn your niches into riches as the Americans say or your um, you know your pain into profit. Um, I also did a full um, analysis of the history of money going back to when money started to almost the present day. This became um, one of the best selling books on money in the world and the top one in the UK. So maybe you want to consider getting this book or at least maybe you want to consider writing your own. All right. And then the final one. This is a great one. So this was actually given to me as a gift by someone and they wrote a lovely um, note in it there. But um, Someone who um, has learned from me said, if he ever struggling or wants to ask, answer a question, he will ask, um, what would Rob do? Eddie says, slow down, chill. Sorry, I'm getting a bit excited. What would Rob do? Which I was, I'm very flattered that people do that. So if I'm struggling and I want to get a question answered, I will ask, what would Arnie do? So um, Arnie to me is a very successful uh, human who has been successful in many different areas. And so I would regard him as a, a, a bit of a um, person to aspire to be like. Um, and I, I like his mentality. I like his ethic. I like his humour. So this little book here, What Would Arnie Do? If I'm struggling and I can't answer a question, I will just open it up. Um, and I just read out some of the um, failure is no option. It just doesn't exist. To those critics who are so pessimistic about our economy, I say, don't be economic girly men. Money doesn't make you happy. I now have 50 million, but I was just as happy when I had 48 million. I knew I was a winner. I knew I was destined for great things. People will say that kind of that kind of thinking is totally immodest. I agree. Modesty is not a word that applies to me in any way. I hope it never will. So this is a nice little reference book. So quick summary then. By the way, if you found this content useful, please share it. Um, look, at the end of the day, the information is there for us all to be wealthy. Um, uh, education is, is accessible now. You know, 100 years ago, it wasn't. 
I think the problem is people are overwhelmed, which is why I wanted to share just four books, which I reckon if you read these, follow these, shut out the distractions, you could become a, a millionaire or well on your way to becoming a millionaire. So think and grow rich about your network is your net worth. How to win friends and influence people, making them feel important and getting them do what you want to do and them deciding to do it. The values factor, knowing what's most important to you in your life and then connecting that with your passion into your profession and into profit. Uh, and then money, how to make, manage and multiply more money, know more, make more and give more. Now, by the way, there's a, 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 um, a partner to this book, Money, uh, and that is Rob.team. So Rob.team is my digital financial freedom platform to help you make, manage and multiply money, create multiple streams of recurring income, invest in assets, get your tax bill down and your income streams up. So if you would like to continue your education um, and access hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses for just 22 pence a day and you can cancel any time and there's no ongoing contract and I've got new masterclasses that have just been uploaded in the last two days then go and join Rob.team by typing into any web page right now, R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Rob dot, I can see people going because I see the numbers there on the live. So just open a new web page, type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. There's no risk because you can try it. You can go and consume a hundred of hours of content and then... Um, unsubscribe in secret and no one would know if, if you want to. Now, I think if you join, you're going to love the Sunday sessions every Sunday. I think you're going to love the guest experts I bring in. I think you're going to love all the content on, I do a how to invest series. It's about 12 hours, how to invest no money down, how to invest a grand, five grand, 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand. Um, I've actually got a 10 module, 12 hour money mastermind university. Um, and that was actually um, a charged for event that you can get now as a member of Rob.team. Debbie says, I'm joining today. No, 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 don't join today. Join now. Because if, if you do it later, it won't happen. You know that because life will distract you. So actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I will give you this 10 module, 12 hour money mastermind university completely for free. Um, this would be a 500 pounds online course. You know what schools don't teach you about money, but should. What your parents didn't, didn't know about money, so couldn't teach you. Uh, it's basically my own university degree on all things money, 12 modules. If you'd like to get that completely for free, go now and join Rob.T. And that's typing in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Rob dot team. Go do that right now on the internet, then come back. Um, Elm, does your book come in ebook format? Yes, it does. And Kindle, but audio as well. You say you have some sight problems. Why don't you listen to audio? You can definitely get money on audio. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get Think and Grow Rich, How to Win Friends and Influence People, The Values Factor on audio. I know I listen to Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography, which is Total Recall, which is there. See it? <laughs> um, I know you can get that on audio. I like audio for leverage. You know, it's much easier. You can do it in the gym, in the car, walking, etc. So I'll see you in Rob.team. Hopefully you found the content there useful on the books that have made the biggest difference to me. Someone has said, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I'm actually interviewing Robert Kiyosaki in two weeks. Um, Debbie's joining Rob.team now. Richest Man in Babylon definitely, you know, was a good book. Pay yourself first. Learn that first in Richest Man in Babylon. Most people pay themselves last. They pay everyone else first, their bills, the government. Pay yourself first. Pay tax later and last. Pay everyone else after you pay yourself. Um, someone enjoyed my book, Leverage. Appreciate that. Um, Adrian. OK, so I wonder if you wouldn't mind sharing this. Um, I think that these should be taught in schools, quite frankly. I really do. They're probably not because the government don't want you to know about and the central banks don't want you to know about, you know, how to really make money. Um, but of course, that's why I exist, to help you make, manage and multiply more money, to start your business, scale your business, get better financial education and knowledge, to know more, make more and give more money. And Rob.team, there's hundreds of hours of courses, re resources, master classes, Zoom Sunday sessions every Sunday. Um, live events, 
all on the subject of money and business and entrepreneurship, etc. Um, so, yeah, if you would just like to join, just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Thanks for all the comments. Really appreciate you. Uh, I'll see you in Rob.team. And remember this. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything.